Hi guys, Mary is sleeping, look how cute she is. Um, so I thought I would film a quick video. Look, I've got her next to the dog wall and the wellies and like a really responsible mother. Okay, let's go film. Hello, wait, am I in focus? There we go, hello, how are you? I am back again, oh my God, today me and Mary went to soft play, it was, pretty wild it was our first time at soft play i feel like i'm i need my motherhood card now um it was fun i think she liked it yeah it was pretty it was busy it was loud i think she liked it she's a bit thuggy so she was able to just like thug it up in there you know um but i think she liked it anyway she got back into the car fell asleep within a second i had some lunch even though i'd eaten chips at soft play i still came home and had lunch because that's who I am. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video while she is asleep. So today, today I am talking about the other Audi dupe that I was going to talk about. This is the number, God, I've got a lipstick swatch on my hand, forgive. Um, but this is the Audi Jo Malone dupe. It's number three, pomegranate, not pomegranate noir, just pomegranate. Yeah, they actually tried with this one to change to change the title. So yeah, I thought I would do a quick video, quick video review. I have completely finished it. There is like the tiniest amount at the bottom and it's looking at pretty grubs. So I'm um, not as grubby as me and my swatchy hand, but it's looking pretty grubs. So I feel like I've fully tried it. I fully used it up and I'm ready to review. Um, but first of all, I'm gonna cough. Okay, there we go. I just had to get that out. Um, I'm still a little, a little bit ill. Um, not ill, I just have this lingering cough. Anyway, so this product, um, I want to say it was about £2.50, which for a 250ml bottle, pretty affordable. Um, it smelled pretty good. Like, I take issue with the Audi dupe of the pomegranate perfume, because I just feel like... It, it's a bit too much like it's just a bit abrasive on the nose doesn't smell that natural it just it's like it's so close but so far do you know what I mean like that subtlety that Jo Malone has and I don't mean like softness I just mean like there's just this little sum and summon you know this little slice of elegance that Jo Malone can put in their perfumes that just Audi can't capture which is fair you know there's a huge price difference but when it comes to the perfume, you feel it in your soul um, and it hurts, you know? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so this this is a hand and hand and body wash and I used it as a hand wash in the bathroom. Here's my pink sink to prove. Um, Scent-wise, I actually thought it was better than the perfume, 100%. I would go for the hand and body wash over the perfume every day of the week. But that being said, like the Jo Malone one, and like the Jo Malone one is wildly more expensive, of course. The Jo Malone one does smell better. It also lingers on your on your skin better and it smells really good for quite a while. And it also kind of amps up your perfume. Like it is really beautiful and the scent does linger. This one, it doesn't linger. However, that moment where you are washing your hands, it is quite nice. But here's my problem with it. And it's, it probably sounds like nothing, but for me, it's a bit of a deal breaker. The problem for me with this is, apart from the packaging, I'm sorry, I hate the packaging, the packaging, ugh, I just hate the packaging. Um, but the, my main problem with it is not anywhere on the packaging does it say it's antibacterial. And um, I have a one year old, I have a one year old, I have a dog, I'm a messy person. I like my hand washes to be like a Carex, like kills 99% of bacteria type thing because I'm just, I touch the dog, I touch Mary, Mary touches the floor, I touch the floor. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm a mucky person. I'm exposing myself to germs, I'm exposing Mary to germs. And I'm just like, do I need it to smell of pomegranate and fake germ alone? Or do I need it to actually wash my hands and kill bacteria? And for me, as nice as the pomegranate noir is, and it is actually quite nice, for me, I'm just like, no. I need my hand wash to fully, fully wash my hands. Like that is what I need from my hand washes. I need that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria because that's just what I need. And also like 
Mary is touching stuff. I am putting hand wash on her. I am, sorry, am I even in focus? Woo! Um, yeah, Mary is touching stuff. I'm washing her hands. I'm putting on that hand soap. I'm rinsing her hands. And I want her to be like, her hands to be bacteria free, especially when she's like been touching the bin. Um, so for me, I won't be buying it again. If I did buy it again, and if I was to recommend it, I would say to use it in the shower as a body wash, not a hand wash. Um, but yeah, for me, I'm just like, do you know what? 250 is great. It actually genuinely is. But I would rather spend a pound and have that Carex kills 99% of bacteria vibey thing going. Um, but yeah, I would say if you're going to buy it, um, maybe you don't have children, maybe you don't have dogs. Maybe have some Carex as well, which kind of defeats the object of it. But I would say if you're going to buy it, just use it in the shower. Um, I think it's better as a shower thing. Anyway, that's my video. That is my review. That is my personal thoughts on the Aldi Jo Malone dupe of the pomegranate. It does smell quite good. It does, it does lack. You can smell the difference. I don't care what anybody says. I can smell the difference. I've been wearing Jo Malone for a long time. And I can smell the difference, like, 100% um but it's half decent like it's a half decent it's 250 like i cannot complain but i just i need my hand wash to be antibacterial that is my major flaw with this product so um yeah i think actually if it was like antibacterial i have i'd have a lot better things to say about it actually i should be fair here the joe malone one isn't antibacterial either so i'm not actually comparing like for like so i don't want anybody to be like this is really unfair the joe malone one isn't antibacterial either and like that's fair it's not antibacterial and i won't be buying that one either <laughs> but um yeah i think for me it's just like nope i need carex i need um, I would say actually if you are buying Carex, buy the sheer butter one, it smells really good. But I think for me I'm just like, nope, it's a hand wash, it needs to be antibacterial, I am too much of a mucky person. Um, but yeah, if you want to buy this one for the shower, I would say, let, let's, let's focus in on this bad boy. Ooh, have I got it? Have I got it? No, I've not got it, I've not got it in focus. Yeah, so I'd say if you buy it, use it in the shower, don't use it as a hand wash. And um, I would say the same about the Jerome Alone one, because that also doesn't contain antibacterial too. So yeah, that was my review. What do you think? Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go see Mary. And um, I don't think she's awake yet, so who knows what I'm going to do with my next 10 minutes of freedom. I have to say, soft play wore her out. It was great. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Oh, there she is. Say bye, Mary. Bye. Oh my God, I'm waking her up.